Hey everybody, we're at Comic Con 2012 here, and we're standing next to uh, Dylan Hunt, Hercules himself. Yeah, that's it. Get it right in the shot there. That's right, baby. <laughs> Kevin Sorbo standing by. Kevin, it's nice to meet you. How are you nice doing to today? You. I'm doing well. Doing well. So, what do you think of Comic Con this year? The good fun. I was like getting back to Chicago. My second series after Hercules was Andromeda, a nice five-year run. It was owned by the Tribune Company out of here. So. I got to come in, uh, I got three of those five years, I got to th uh, throw the first pitch out of Wrigley Field, which was a lot of fun. Yeah. Now, as you mentioned, he's Hercules. That was uh, sort of your big uh, launching pad, correct? I mean, from there... Well, Hercules, you... no question. I mean, I was seven years in New Zealand, and we're actually a launching pad for New Zealand's film industry. I mean, they, they, they never had something like that come down there before. Our crew, by the end of the seven years, was so good, Sam Raimi hired them all for, for uh, Lord of the Rings. Is that right? I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. Happened when I win uh, Academy Awards. So. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. And then uh, the success of Hercules went on for, what, seven seasons, I believe? Seven seasons, and after that was five years on Andromeda. Man. Uh, which did you prefer? Like, I mean, you know, you're t it's a big jump from Greek mythology going into space travel. I mean, which did, which did you feel the more comfortable around? Well, I, I love them both. I'm a big Star Trek fan, so a, a lot of people don't realize that it was Gene Roddenberry's Andromeda. Gene wrote this show. It was the first show he wrote after Star Trek in 1969. This was the first, Captain Dylan Hunt was his first captain after Captain Kirk, so uh, it's got a good history to it. And, but obviously, Hercules is where it started for me, so if you're gonna say pick one or the other, uh, it's hard for me because I love them both, but I'll say, well, because of Hercules, I gotta go with that show. There you go. Yeah. And it was very successful. I had a spinoff of Xena, the Warrior Princess. That was yeah. mainly because of Hercules. Uh, it wouldn't have happened without Hercules, pretty much. So that was our third year spinoff. We had a fifth year spinoff with young Hercules, but only lasted one year. And a lot of people don't realize that it, uh, it was Ryan Gosling playing me as a teenager. Yeah, I, yeah. Go figure. No, I don't think anybody would have thought that, but I did. But, yeah. but uh, now you've also done a lot of directing and producing. Uh, yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. You know, I kind of put up the producer's shingle about five years ago, and I, I got one of my movies I just produced is coming out in November called Abel's Field. It's sort of a... a modern day telling of Cain and Abel meets Friday Night Lights who shot in Austin, Texas. And um, right, I've, got, I've, got about, I've got about four of the movies coming out that I've shot in, this, in a recent year. And I leave next month to shoot a movie with Ving Rhames down in Argentina, an action movie. Excellent. You know, what's, what's the allure of producing and directing? I mean, what, what's the driving behind it? Well, you know, studios have a way of screwing you as an actor. <laughs> so if you're producing, if you own it, you got a better chance. You got a better chance of losing everything you put into it, but you got a better chance of uh, keeping everything too. And uh, trust me, with the creative counting accounting system of, stu of Hollywood, Hollywood's told Peter Jackson that Lord of the Rings didn't make any money. So, you, know, you know, there's there's a bit of corruption going on there, but they get away with a lot of murder. Uh, now, tell us a little bit about your charity, uh, World Fit for Kids. Uh, World Fit for Kids. I uh, came on board uh, 15 years ago with the number one after-school program in the state of California. People can go to worldfitforkids.org to find out information about it. And we host an annual celebrity golf tournament in Vegas every year. Next spring, please check it out. We're always looking for people to come on out. And uh, it's just, it's a great program. We're just going to go nationwide with it. We deal with childhood obesity. We deal with grades. We deal with preparation for um, uh, work beyond high school and college. And just really trying to build as much real hope and real self-esteem into people that um, let other people others set their limitations. That's my biggest my mantra is don't let other people set your limitations. You can be what you want to be. You just have to work hard to get there. Excellent. Well, well Kevin, I appreciate the time you took out to talk to us today. All right. My and pleasure. you have a good one, all right? All right. Thank you so much.